YouTube. My name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. Hello again, friends. I am pleased to be able to present to you another Thrifty Thursday Thrifty Canucks video. That's right, it's time for me to show what I've picked up at local thrift stores, retail stores, and some online shopping that we've accomplished in the past couple of weeks. Thrifty Thursday is hosted here by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. I'll have a link to her information listed in the description box below. Thrifty Canucks was introduced to us by Kim Newberg, and I'll have links to her information in the description box uh, as well. Both Sherry and Kim have lists of participants, and, and both lists are rather large, and so there's a lot of videos for anyone who's interested in these types of videos, there's lots of channels, lots of videos. Go ahead, click on the links or visit Sherry and Kim's channels. I promise you there's lots to look at. And for myself today, I'll start by showing a collection of old books that I've picked up recently. So the first is this pair of booklets. One, uh, they're both from Dickens. One is the Cricket on the Hearth, and the other is A Christmas Carol, Ruskin, the King of the Golden River. So I was attracted by the red. I'm always attracted by the red. <laughs> right? It's a nice paper, nice and thin and smooth. Copyright 1920 here in Canada. And the paper is so incredibly smooth. It's really smooth, really nice. Oh, a little bonus here. A little, a little coupon that expired in 2003. <laughs> Gotta love that. So yeah, it has, um, there's a texture to the front and back covers. This one has some writing on it and it is folded here at the corner. And this one's folded up at that corner. This one's been through it a little bit. Again, nice, smooth papers. Property of Lumbee School. Lumbee is a local city. And, oh, here's a, a plate of J. Ruskin. And it looks like it's got some old cello tape holding it together here. This one is copyright 1915, so a little earlier than this other one. There's stains and all kinds of stuff, but that's okay. I'm just curious if this one had that plate as well. Nope, no plate. But still, nice little books. The next is a, <laughs> is a thesaurus, as if I need another book, but here we go. Um, so it's a Rod Rogets or Rogerts thesaurus in dictionary form. Look at that patina. Is that, yeah. Um, copyright 1961, 1978. So kind of old. Oh, wow. Nice. I like the patina, I like the color, I like the, you know, aging along the edges. And I really like how the word that you're looking for, the bigger one, is all capital letters. That's really fun. So pretty beat up, but you know, that's all right like that very much. <laughs> and my last book, <laughs> another red cover. I can't even read it. Um, it's embossed on the side here, embossed at the front, but it's kind of beat up all over the place. And it's stained on the inside. Ooh, falling apart. The Foreigner, A Tale of Saskatchewan by Ralph, Con by Ralph Connor. <laughs> Copyright 
copyright 1909 the foreigner oh look there's one signature Yeah, plenty of pages and another book to pull apart that I haven't even started or touched because <laughs> oh, the procrastination is real. <laughs> the end. Yeah. So a little bit of staining on the outside, but really nice color red. And like I said, it is ready to fall apart. So, so these are the books I got for this haul video. Next I'm going to be moving into some of the Thrifty Finds. For Thrifty Finds the first thing is something I found at Facebook Marketplace. Oh the, the crinkle is real. I'll be right back. So this is something I picked up at Facebook Marketplace for five dollars. It's um, rice paper. Uh, 12 feet by 50 foot roll. Let me just looks like they've used a bit of it, but there's the rice paper itself. Oh, there's a nice texture. You can see the fibrous fibrous, sorry, fibrous kind of cut on the edge. And there's still a lot in here. It's very smooth, very has a nice trend, uh, nice translucency. Not bad at all. Traditional rice paper is suitable for drawing calligraphy, block printing, sumi painting, and watercolors. It's a two-sided sh two sheet. One surface has more tooth, which gives character to ink and paint. And the other side is for smaller brush strokes and fine calligraphy. Made in Taiwan, sold in Beaverton, Oregon, I guess. Nice. That's the smoother, and this is the one that has two. Nice, not bad, $5. And it was a local pickup, which was even better. Now I'm gonna show some things that I found at Value Village. First, starting with this bag of cards. Okay. First is this set of cards from Canada that have not been opened yet. No, nope, they're all the same here. This one is a Yukon Quest uh, in the uh, Yukon. So it's the dog sledding in the Yukon. And this one will be all of Peggy's, Crow, Peggy's Cove and Nova Scotia. Yeah, they're all the same. I was hoping they'd all be different, but no. They're all the same still. Nice. But the reason I, this isn't the reason I bought this with um, these this, this bag of cards. The real reason was this one. Okay, so plastic, co pa plastic coated Duratone playing cards. But wait till I turn it over. Oh my God. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this little girl. Oh my goodness, look at this little girl. Little boy, maybe. Oh, oh, classic vintage. I cannot even. I am super thrilled with finding this. This is unbelievable. Just so nice. And the patina, these have been well loved. You can tell, look at the edges. Love that. Love this. These are absolutely adorable. Well worth the price. $2.99 for these two sets of decks of cards. And it's got like that flocking kind of feel on it. Oh my goodness. Oh lordy. There. <laughs> I'll have to be more gentle with that since it's falling apart. Maybe I'll put it in this way. So dang cute. And now continuing on with my finds at um, 
Value Village, this for $2.99. It's got two price tags on it. An old address book. And this is so thick. Like it's really thick. No writing or anything in it, but I did like this paper here. And it slides right on out. Yep. Yeah. Happy with that. Next are these um, flash cards in a box piano adventures. And it was $4.99. Here are the rules, and then flashcard games, as well as these cards. Aren't these fun? Aren't these fun? Just, I think they're fun. Add something different to your collages. And then we have some games that you can play with these flashcards and symbols and terms. Hmm. Well worth the price, I think. Box is a little rough. <laughs> and the last thing from thrift stores is this. Now what is it? So part of me feels that this is like film. Open only in the dark room. Oh, Shiza. Okay, well then it is paper and I have definitely ruined it for, you're supposed to open it only in the dark room and here we are full bright and I've opened it. So it's not photo paper anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I should have realized that it was something to do with the dark room considering it was wrapped in this black, but it'll be interesting to use some other way. So that's it for the thrifting portion of this video. Next, next I'm going to move into online purchases, which is the bulk of this video. All right. All right, so these are the corner rounders I picked up. Um, these ones are the smooth, these have squared, and these have a little design. I've never used one before, so. Something here from Venelisa. I don't really recall ordering this. Maybe my sister did. I have to ask her. Jelly gel, extension gel, and clear. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. 
So these look like they're the um, Aurora Flakes in two different colors. Yeah. Hopefully you can see the shift in there. Isn't that pretty? So I got the two colors. Very nice. Line gel. Okay, so this is um, this is going to be the line gel. This is meant for uh, line work in black and in white. Oh, I'm wrong. It isn't line gel. It's spider gel, I believe. So what you do is you take a bit of it, and it's so stringy, you just take some of it and then... See what I mean? It creates that interesting line work. Yep, pretty cool. So next is this um, Milk White. I believe it's a poly gel. So that's a poly gel in a Milk White. You're not going to really see it there, but... Okay, <clears throat> so these are... Um, SKVP uh, So we've got the first one's more of a pearl. The second one here is like a blue with green in it. The next one is more another pearlized one, but on the silver side. And this last one is purple green, uh, purple blue shift. Aren't, isn't that pretty? My goodness. Okay. So these are the little rain, um, water drops they come in a variety of sizes <gasps> don't lose them oh no i spilt <laughs> oh and give me a minute to clean all this up oh my goodness okay <laughs> these are little water drop um with a half circle so that you can put it on your nail and it looks like a water drop And it comes in a variety of sizes in this little jar. So if you put it on your nail, it kind of looks like there's a water drop. And I think that's really cute. <laughs> Some dimension on your nails. And the other one is the same thing with a blue back on them. So everything reflexes blue. Isn't that cute? doesn't want to stay put <laughs> okay yeah really fun and a lot of definitely some dimension and interest to a nail I've begun um, with some dimension on my nails I think it's in interesting and my sister absolutely hates it <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I almost sliced into my product Okay, so I went a little crazy. There was a sale at this particular store and I went a little crazy. These are all the silicone molds to create your own charms for on top of your nails. Just, oh, I got a little thank you. This is my little thank you card. Beautiful. I think these are going to be water decals. Yeah, it's a free gift. Nice. Look at that. That was nice. So let me get into these. I'm going to open them up. So yeah, these are bows. Then we have the alphabet in lowercase. 
the alphabet in uppercase. Some butterflies and flowers. Oh my gosh, that's a little unicorn right here. <laughs> that's a little unicorn. Um, different butterflies and bugs. That looks like a beetle or a moth, maybe. This <laughs> teddy bears. Oh my goodness, different sizes. So I get to create a teddy bear. And this one is different bows, but it has that rounded part, so it sets nicely on your nail. So three rows of pretty ribbons. And this one had all the different shapes. And so that's going to be fun. The clear gel in my previous haul video, that's what I bought these for, bought that for, was to create my own um, nail art decals or charms. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, those are small. So this is a little, these are the charms. Let me, <laughs> they're so small. So I got two kinds here. One have tiny, tiny hearts in two colors, bronze and silver, or gold and silver. And the same for the stars. So small. <laughs> now I think this is the um, end of the Stays On collection that I've been purchasing a couple every month or so, and a Versamark um, stamp pad here uh, for embossing. I just use regular, I have in the past just been using regular ink to do my embossing, but it's always going to be interesting to test it with a real embossing stamp pad. And the two colors I got are Cloudy Sky and Midnight Blue. As I said, I think this is the end of the Stays On collection in this size that was available. I'll bring this over here. This is Cloudy Sky. Ooh. I think that's going to be a darker gray. And this one is Midnight Blue. Mm-hmm. Very nice. I'm not going to swatch the Versamark. It's clear, it's emboss, embossing ink. All right. <laughs> so this is a, a nail box organizer sorter for the tips and uh, tips and dual forms that I've picked up recently. And each one comes with this, <laughs> this mi mini nail file. Mini, 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 but yeah, it should. It... I picked these up so that I would have all my tips in boxes instead of in bags. And it's a slow process to get them all that way. <laughs> but worth it, it'll be worth it. <laughs> and speak of the devil, <laughs> here are the, some of the tips. So I've, I picked up two more different styles in the short. These are definitely short. And this is a oh my very long liner brush. <gasps> Look how long that is. Ooh, hopefully it'll make some drawing a little easier. Yeah, nice and short. Yes, indeed. Nice for when I want when I do, when I want to have short nails and not have to file down 
the um, larger sizes and these will go in the nail boxes. Isn't that pretty packaging? Ooh, another milky white. I'm trying them from different brands. I love the packaging on this. The bottle is beautiful. And it's 002. So this is K36 from SKVP. It says it's a soak off. Oh, goodness. This looks like a, a jelly or a syrup color. Gorgeous. Very nice. And of course the milky white is milky white. I won't swatch that. I won't swatch that, but I do have two collections here of colors and I'll just get them out and I'll be back okay so the one that they packaged separate looks like it was part of this other set so I'll put it there and they're in name so this collection is SKVP K03 with number 01 Last one of this series, 08. Ooh. Very nice. So that's one set. The other set is K36, and they come labeled as well, 01. And last one, oh nine. Beautiful. Similar, but not quite. A nice collection of colors, and they're all syrupy, so. <laughs> My swatch paper. <laughs> and there we are. So these are foils, um, single foils. This one is a um, beautiful marbling with pink and gold. So pretty. And this one, I believe, yeah, is more for autumn because it has the change of season colors and stuff on here. And some butterflies, some different florals. Really pretty. Yeah, really pretty. And foils are so inexpensive, honestly. Great way to add um, some interest to your nails without doing a, a lot of work. You just have to get the right products on there. Another brand that I have been interested in trying when it comes to base coat, top coat is this Cody brand. And so here is um, no sticky top coat. The rubber, I, I prefer the rubber base gels over the regular base gels because I feel it can take more of an impact before your um, extensions are lifted. So that's good. And I'm, and I'm hoping that they're, you know, thick and 
wonderful. The bottles feel nice. The shape is interesting. Oh, yeah. That's really thick. Thick. Love that. And the, you know, embossing on the side. Really pretty. This is the rubber top gel. Oh, yeah. It's not as thick as the base coat, but I imagine that'll level out nicely. And this is the no sticky top coat. Yeah. Normal viscosity for a top coat, I think. But still, good. I'm interested in trying these products. It's a new brand that I heard good things about, so I'll give this a try. And the other thing from Cody was this um, Stero Carve Gel. It's this Malibu um, product. You can basically carve it into anything on your nail. <laughs> That's good stuff. You can also use it to secure your tips on. I've done that with products similar to this, but not in this brand. All right, so this little collection is, um, so this little collection is from You Are Sugar again. I bought some base gel in my last video and I've been using it. I actually used them on this set and I liked everything about it. So I decided to order a couple more colors. So let's get to swatching. Alright, so this is the swatches of the You Are Sugar base gels. This one is the Milky White with a bit of shimmer to it, the Apricot with shimmer, Gold Flakes shimmer. I hope you can see the stars that's in this, in this nail polish. So cute. And then this purple with the gold glitters. So nice. Look at this. <laughs> My swatch sheet is so funny, but here we are. <laughs> So I'm going to put that aside and keep on going. I, I can't seem to get enough of these hollow flakes, and I love that these ones are neon. Let me just get these out there. They did leak. Looks like there's glitters everywhere. Definitely glitters all over this one. Hooray, hold on. Oh, glitter everywhere. Glitter everywhere. <laughs> All right, so these two have shifts of color. You might be able to pick that up. They're hollow flakes. Some of them more shiny than others, others more muted, but they all have a shift of color. And I think that's fun. And of course, we've got the neon colors here. Imagine those inlaid or overlaid with some clear gels. A beautiful range of colors there. Here are some nail stickers that I purchased. And these stickers have a raised, they're embossed, so it's raised. So when you feel it, it's not flat. Picked up some for Christmas for next year, as well as some for summer and spring. Really pretty. These ones have cute little love things with bears and bunnies meant for Easter. Aren't those so cute? And more butterflies and flowers. These are all embossed, so they're raised. 
and this one's pure flowers. More flowers, but some with some hints of color. And this little selection here, I think, is my thank as a thank you gift. Oh, okay, so one of the one of the flowers I ordered is out of stock, and this is a reminder to contact the store so they can resolve the issue. All right. So these are these are some rhinestones. They're flat back, and they are in a range of sizes. And they're just jewels, rhinestones, to put on my nail. Oh, those are cute. I've not used rhinestones on my nails before. So this is gonna be my first foray, so to say, into the whole jeweled and stoned nail art. So two sets of stamps here. One is for tickets. Oh, they're both for tickets and postcards. Tickets and postcards. Some of the prompts I've been working with lately are tickets and postcards, and I realized I didn't have a lot. <laughs> so I ordered these. Fun, fun. Oh. Nice. Okay, this is a um, a drill to create holes in like um, the wooden press board stuff that I have. And this is the this is the instrument. So you put the bit in here in the chuck. I believe it's this side. Yeah, you put the bit in there and then you push it down. And it screws it. That's how this is supposed to work. I'll have to experiment a bit more with this later, but yeah. You basically hold it and that screws, turns the, the, the screw that you're gonna insert, it screws it so that you can basically drill through, you know, small things with, without having to get out a big drill, which I don't have, I don't have a drill. <laughs> so this is uh, my solution for that. So that's a nice little fun thing. I'll experiment with that later. It's stickers, Aurora, Aurora I really did slice it, Aurora stickers. I have Aurora strips of foil in my manicure right now, and these are stickers that you can use instead of the foils. So they come in a variety of colors and shapes, right? Very, very tra um, trans, uh, very shiny, <laughs> right? And I like that they have the variety of shapes on here. Very fun. And the last one. Oh, maybe second to last one. There might be another one or two. So it's clear. It's obviously clear and then they get the look by adding that color black background. Very nice. This is going to be the book that I display all my nail art in, like previous sets now that I can pop them off. I'm gonna display them in this little journal. And this is very simple. And then it closes this way, like that. First off is this Tough and Clear Gorilla mounting tape. I'm going to use this. So this is what I'm going to use to mount my old sets onto these acrylic bars. Here's my little box of old sets. Oh, it is too wide. But anyway, yeah, the I'll put a piece of this on 
the acrylic slide here. I'll have to cut it down and then I'll add some of my tips onto it and then display it in the book that I just showed you. So that's what this is going to be for. It's going to be a little project to put them together. So at my local IDA, which is a pharmacy, they have a selection of things you wouldn't expect to find in a regular pharmacy, including an art section. So I picked up these acrylic paint markers and um, I bought them after, <laughs> if I can get them open, and I bought them after the checking out the nib. I want these to be able to draw on my nails and look at that fine tip, look at that fine tip. So I'll be able to draw on, once I get it activated, I'll be able to draw on my nails instead of having to use line art all the time or a like a paintbrush. <laughs> Those aren't as easy to control as perhaps these will be. So nice fine tip, a nice selection of colors. Not bad, not bad at all. So the last are things from Dollar Store here. <laughs> Confetti flakes, it's Mylar. More on Mylar, but in bold colors. This is elasticized cord. Um, this is what I was going to use to put my journals together. It's elasticized and it's black. I have been looking for black stretch elastic for I don't know how long, and I finally found it. So I was glad to get that into my hot little hands, and it's going to go in my stash. Then, you know me and laser cut pieces. These are some keys and there's two of each style. So I got one of each of these packages. Aren't they fun? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and then my last section to show is going to be things um, or some napkins, one moment. Isn't this cute? I think this one is so cute. Really pretty. I love how the pattern repeats, but there's no like border to it. So it's one continuous piece, like a piece of wallpaper. How nice is that? Look at these mushrooms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> really cute mushrooms. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms and ferns. Beautiful colors. And we got these birds. Oh wow, aren't those pretty? Poppies and birds. Great color. Oh, very pretty. Looks like a crown. <laughs> Cute little birds. Some buds, some flowers. I like that. And... <laughs> oh. Wow. Look at that. Look at that giraffe with his crown. Oh. Long, long eyelashes. It's <laughs> so pretty. And you get four, so that's nice. Very nice. Very nice. So with all of these, I'll have these up in my Etsy store uh, sooner rather than later. If you want to go check it out, I'll have a link to my Etsy store listed in the description box below. And wow, <laughs> with these napkins, that's the end of this video. Um, again, my thanks to Sherry and Kim for hosting this wonderful collaboration. I'll have links to both Sherry and Kim's information listed down below. I encourage you to go check those out. Again, those hashtags bring up a list of a lot of channels and participants. If haul videos are your jam, like they are mine. <laughs> and like I said, these will be available in my Etsy shop. So yeah, take a go over and have a look at that. And that's looking like that's it for my video today. I'd like to thank you for watching. I encourage you hit that like button. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until my next video, bye-bye.